geologists and archaeologists who have never come here claim from their cozy chairs and offices that this is all natural. I traveled there in the summer of 2006, spent um, part of July and August studying them firsthand to really see what all the hubbub was about. It was very frustrating for me to walk around the so-called pyramids with Sam. In every case, he points to structures, he absolutely definitively asserts to me, and I'm a geologist, he asserts to me that they cannot be natural, that they have to be artificial, they have to be man-made. It was a huge construction feat though, but very simplified comparing to the building of the pyramids in Mexico or in Egypt. I see no resemblance between the structures, the pyramids in Egypt and the pyramids in Mexico on the one hand and the pyramids in Bosnia on the other hand. All we have in Bosnia are natural hills that vaguely look like pyramids to some people's eyes. This block is 4 meters 40 centimeters long. Its weight is almost 24 tons. The biggest block ever built in any ancient temple or structure in the Balkan region. I looked at them carefully. You can see the stratigraphy, you can see the sedimentology. Sometimes people simply misidentify things, dis misidentify natural structures, natural hills as man-made structures. You have to be really focused on things that you want to see. We have straight edges, 90 degrees corners, obviously man-made. Somebody cut them, transported them, and then put them here to build a terrace. Why did they do that? I don't know. I really was baffled. I couldn't figure out. It was either incredible ignorance or downright miscommunication, misinterpretation, um, or another possibility is it's simply a fraud and a hoax. hoax, hoax, hoax. Here is one of the galleries within the KTK tunnel. This is structurally stable. On the ceiling is one continuous plate which tells us about the abilities of the ancient builders to come to the best natural ceilings. Or it might be an artificial plate. Repeatedly ignored was the simplest explanation that they're simply natural. What our crew discovers can only be summarized in one word. Unbelievable, because nature was in front of us. It was waving at us. Hello, I'm nature. What we saw was sandstone plates, mostly sandstone plates, mixed up with conglomerate, with concrete, all together in one, in one spot. You could say it's, it's paved, but that's how nature makes it. Pushing on those layers give you cracks. It's natural. Our crew member is certain this isn't a pyramid. No builder would use this variety of styles to construct the plateau of a pyramid. That simply doesn't make any sense. And although Sam says tectonics aren't involved, we find proof that says otherwise. This is the top of the Bosnische Heuvel van de Maan. What we see is the upsetting system and the result of the tectonicity that here is clear to see. So, we show actually a bit of this heuvel as tectonic activity that the heuvel to above brought. You see the mooie voorbeeld, ook the barsten worden groter door het omhoog drukken. Dus we kijken eigenlijk neer op een heuvel. Our crew members' last hope of this being a pyramid is gone. <laughs> you start digging, you get your first layer. If it's not beautiful enough or not thick enough, you just continue to dig. And a half a meter or a meter deeper you will find the layer that fits what you want. They are carving a natural hill into what superficially looks like the shape of a pyramid, and they're doing this in the 21st century. 
On the top of the Pyramid of the Moon, the process of modern pyramid making is clearly visible. They simply make them look like man-made structures. And however you look at this, they really are man-made.